Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Santa Banks, and you're watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And today it is another brand new episode of Who's That Cosplayer? And joining me on today's episode is cosplayer Kitty Eves Play. How are you doing today? Hello, I'm, ve I'm very good. Thank you. How about you? Hey, I'm doing awesome. We are in the holiday season. The great gingerbread war is approaching us, and uh, I'm ready to have a good time. Are you? Me too. Awesome, awesome. So <laughs> before we get into today's interview, Make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And as D always says, podcast link down in the description, like, follow, subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into this interview. Kitty, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. I love your Uraraka cosplay. It's awesome. Oh, thank you so much for uh, inviting me and liking well, my cosplay. I'm a beginner, so... That's getting awesome. there that's awesome and uh you know i mean i can go ahead and share with everybody how you know me and kitty know each other um back yeah, sure. in november i cosplayed my first anime character which was deku from my hair academia and i had posted it into my hair academia facebook group and kitty she had commented on my cosplay and told me that it was amazing and i was just like yo thank you so much because i really appreciated that and uh, i had told her that i was doing jotaro the following day and we weren't friends on facebook and she was just like i really want to see your jotaro cosplay i was just like all right i'm gonna send you a friend request and that's how we became friends and you know like kitty said she's just getting her foot into the door of cosplay and uh you know something that we do here on the podcast well not the podcast but uh who's that cosplayer is i ask people what is your origin story every hero or villain has one so tell everybody who kitty eve's play is well, uh, first of all, my real name is Evelyn Lopez. I come from Cuba. I've been living here like almost two years and I'm an animal lover. So I decided to try cosplaying and I bought my first cosplay, which is uh, Nezuko. And then I said, I want to try. I want to see how it is. And when I try, I fell in love. It's like, oh my God, I want to do this. Um, Back in Cuba, I was a teacher. Uh, right here, I'm still working like part time stuff like that. But I want to be a teacher and a cosplayer. <laughs> so nice. I, I said, I came to the US to be a teacher and a cosplayer. But it's my patient right now. <laughs> hey, I love that. And that is an awesome origin story. Now, you said Nezuko was the first cosplay that you did, and you also said that you wanted to be a teacher. You know, I, we're going to talk all about Demon Slayer and, you know, you, you know, teaching in Cuba and whatnot, because I think that that's awesome that you were a teacher. But, um, you know, going back to the Nezuko question that I was just about to ask, as uh, Nezuko being your first cosplay, is it because, like, you're a huge fan of Demon Slayer and you were just like, if I'm going to do my first cosplay, I want it to be based off of one of my favorite animes right now. Well, my favorite, favorite anime is My Hero Academia. I love, I love Demon Slayer too. And I decided Nezuko because I, I thought it was easier to, for me to do because I already have everything uh -huh. uh, except the bamboo. I made my own bamboo. Uh, I don't like it that much. It's a little too big, but I'm going to remake it for the Holy and Masurikon. And yeah, that's why I chose Nezuko because I felt like more comfortable doing her because she was um, she's pretty and she adapt very well to myself so i said let's go with something easy and nice first uh but i do love my uh, demo slayer a lot uh i was waiting for the second season finally yeah it's, it's out now yeah. i still gotta watch it <laughs> <laughs> So no spoilers, no spoilers. Um. <laughs> but no, that that is awesome. And your Nezuko cosplay, like it's amazing, especially for that being it's your so first awesome. costume as well. And I like how you said that you actually made the muzzle yourself. And now you're going to level up and because you got the experience points now. So that way you can make it a better one. Now, have you uh -huh. have you been to any con since you started cosplaying or did you just start cosplaying and you're going to take those costumes to the conventions? Well, my first con uh, was here because in Cuba we don't have like this 
we have like a little events, but not a big comic con, uh, cons like here. Mm -hmm. So my first con, I didn't have a cosplay. Uh, so I just went to see how it is. Uh, but I was planning already to cosplay. Now my next con is on December. It's on December. Uh, Holiday Masuri Comic Con. And I can't wait to wear my cosplays in there. I've been waiting so long for it. I'm really nervous right now. I feel like days are not passing. <laughs> I That's really want to go with my cosplays. <laughs> No, I, I totally understand being nervous, but I mean, like seeing your reaction right now, you seem like you're pretty ready. Now, I know that you say you have Nezuko and then right now your cosplay is Uraraka. Do you have any other cosplays that you're going to be doing when you go there? Yeah, I want to do uh, Akiko Yosano from Gungo Stray Dogs. I admire her a lot. There's a reason why I want to do her is that she is an amazing girl, she's a symbol of strength and it's, it's woman power, you know? Uh -huh. So I really want to do her. And also I would do Raraka, but in a Christmas, um, in a Christmas outfit. So I want to make like a Christmas uh, theme for her in the second day. And the last day I want to do Nezuko, because Nezuko is special for me, because she was my first cosplay. So I would do her, yeah, for sure. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, when you go to the con, you'll find your brother Tanjiro there, so that way uh, you can headbutt him. <laughs> yeah, I need to find my brother Tanjiro, but Tanisu has to become that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, I, I love all of that, and especially what you're saying that you want to do a Christmas theme for uh, Uraraka. And I mean, like, all you got to do is just get a red outfit like how she had on in the episode, and you're good to go. And that's one of the things that. I love about cosplay because you can cosplay as whoever you want to cosplay as, but then you can add your own little twist to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I could be Jotaro and dress up as Santa Claus, but as long as, you know, I have something that's there that resembles Jotaro, like the, like I can have like a Santa Claus hat and then like have the back of it cut out and have his hair poking out and people be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like that's Jotaro. And of course, doing the Jojo poses, you know what I'm saying? You have to do the poses when it comes to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, something I wanted to piggyback off of that you said was, you said in Cuba, um, you weren't really, co I mean, you, were, you weren't really cosplaying a lot over there. And I just wanted to know, like, is cosplay, is that something that is big over there? Like, do people cosplay? Well, uh, I, was, I was born in a small city. So in my city, they do not cosplay we don't even have Halloween, mm. so like wearing costumes is kind of different and new for people. So what we do is like events for anime lovers, where well, they sell some anime merch, uh, some posters, you know, some stuff, and and they play music and you know for meeting people, but not like here, not that big with uh, all those cosplayers and. But I don't know if in the, in the big city, in the capital, they will have like bigger ones with, cos with actually cosplayers. But in my city, we didn't have those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why yeah. I was so amazed when I came first, when I went for the first time to a con. It was in Tampa, actually. The nice. Metro Con in Tampa. Yeah. And now when you went to your first con and like you saw like the cosplayers there and everything. Like, was that just something that was just like, yeah, like this is something I really want to get into because I love anime and everybody here is having a good time. So like, talk about that for a little bit. Wow. I went by myself because I still don't have too many friends mm -hmm. and I live in Florida. So it's kind of harder to find anime lovers. Yeah. So I went by myself and Oh my God, I tried to make friends with everyone. I asked for pictures. <laughs> I even met some people that they are really nice and we still talk to each other. And when I saw everybody in cosplays, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I love this. I was so happy. I was like a kid with a, with a dessert, you know, with a candy. Yeah. I was like a kid yeah, with a candy. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, the, uh, a kid <laughs> in the candy store. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, like that. Um, I said, I want to wear mine too. I want to mm. be like them. So I can't wait to actually wear mine. 
Yeah, and then, you know, because of the pandemic, I know that it kind of slowed everything down with the con scene and whatnot. And like some cosplayers yeah. that I've interviewed up here on the channel and some cosplayers who I'm friends with, uh, you know, that, that I haven't interviewed, it's like, that's one of the things that they say is it's like they had all these cosplays that they just had stacked up because of the pandemic. So it's like, you can only wear so many costumes to a con, unless you want to be Superman and you want to keep changing <laughs> like that, which I mean, that's more crazy. power to you. you know, I mean, some people do that. Like some people will go to a con on Friday and they're like, I'm wearing this costume in the morning. I'm wearing this costume in the afternoon. Then I'm wearing this costume in the evening. And then I'm wearing this costume to the rave. And it's just like, yo, that's a lot of that's change. crazy. For me, I like to do everything look good, but I like to make the, the makeup match with the character. So yeah. if I would be changing characters, I would have to change everything. So it's yeah. kind of complicated. So yeah. I will stick with one each day. What character, what character, what character. No, yeah, and I, I totally understand. I mean, like, when I go to the con, because, like, I just interviewed Best Demo Guys, and that was one thing that we had talked about, and you can watch her interview. It is up here on the channel. But, um, you know, we were just talking about how, you know, when you go to a con, like, you just want to wear that one costume, have a good time, and then wear a different costume the next day. Or some people, like, they wear the same costume all three days. You know, if you want to do that, that's cool. Yeah. But it's like, I just feel like, it's, it does take a lot because like you said if you have all this makeup on then you got to go back to your hotel room or some people like they don't even have a hotel room at the con at all so it's like then they got to go to their car put on all this makeup try and change and everything it's just too much you know what i'm saying yeah exactly <laughs> so i want to ask you this now because uh, you know we talked about the cons we talked about cuba i want to know what are some of your other favorite animes? I know Demon Slayer is one of them. I know My Hero Academia is one of them. Tell me some more that you're into. Well, I love also Attack on Titan, uh, Psyche, The Disaster Life of Psyche. Um, oh, there are a lot. <laughs> I like Daughter Stone. I can't wait for the new season. Bungo Stray Dogs. I love Bungo Stray Dogs. Um, a lot a fairy tale um one of my first anime was Yu-Gi-Oh! so i oh, kind of nice. have that thing about that i still love it yeah um well it's a long long list i prefer the adventures one with magic you know like but i also watch romantic ones yeah see i feel like with anime and and your list is awesome but you know the genre it has evolved over the years you know back when we were younger it's just like you only had what was either on adult swim or tsunami whereas now it's just like there's so many different genres that you can watch you can watch horror anime you can watch romance anime comedy action adventure mystery so i just love that we have the option now to pick and choose what type of animes that we want to watch instead of just being forced to watch something whether we like it or not you know what i'm saying yeah i'm also happy about it yeah when i was a kid it was what wasn't the tv only and but now we can choose exactly. according mm -hmm. to what we like mm -hmm. and so, we can't even choose the language yeah it's exactly perfect. yeah exactly I, I love that i love that like especially on netflix like they give you all the different languages and sometimes like i'll just go through and i'm like oh i wonder how this person sounds and you know japanese i wonder how this person sounds and uh spanish dub you know it's it's just so many different options and i feel like everybody does an amazing job but it's just cool just to hear what characters sound in uh different subs you know or dubs i'm sorry now i want to ask you you know we talked about the cons and anime and all that stuff and your cosplay sure. is uraraka right now and uraraka she is one of Best my girl. favorites she is one of my favorite shonen female characters. She's not a main character, but she has so many cool moments in My Hero Academia. So I want to ask you, what is your favorite Uraraka moment in the series? And if you, now, before you add, answer that, do you read the manga? Yes. Okay, I'm all right. So, so okay, I know so, what she's going to do. I love what she's going to do, but I don't want to give you spoilers. Oh, so hold on, hold on, Rondell. Hold on real quick. 
we talk about spoilers up here so i'm just gonna let everybody know right now we're about to get into spoiler talk so if you don't read the my hair academia manga you might want to skip over the next i'll say five minutes but uh yeah we're going into spoiler talk in three two one go when she stand up to talk for deku uh what she did was amazing she yes. just grabbed the microphone mm -hmm. stand up and um my my skin i'm, I'm feeling like chicken skin right now <laughs> just I, I just read it so i can't wait to see it in the yeah. anime um, she's amazing she's amazing and about the anime i left her fight against baku she and oh baku. my god that was such a good fight it was a body Yes, oh, yeah. oh my god. Who's that cosplayer? It's silent cosplay. Like, I love that you said what your favorite moment was in the manga and what your favorite moment was in the anime. Um, definitely for me, my favorite anime moment was when Deku couldn't control uh, um, One For All. Oh, and nobody knew what to do you know what i'm saying like it's, it's like you had uh the black whip it was going all over the place and uraka she leapt into the air and she smacked him and she saved him and you know to go back to the manga stuff that you were talking about i feel like that, that was a huge moment for her because it shows her growth and her character development from where she started at to where she is now like i have a list of why uraka is the best shown in uh character shown in female character now i don't read one piece or watch one piece and i kind of forgot about nami but uh I, you know i really don't ever hear a lot of people put nami up there as like a top uh female character you know what i'm saying but for yeah. uraka like her like she became a hero at first because she wanted to get money but because she met deku and because she became friends with everybody in class 1a it's like she wanted to be a hero that helped other people and i love the fact that you know the quote that she says is who helps heroes when they need to be saved and i love that quote because it's just like heroes are always helping people that need to be saved but if a hero is going through something whether it's physically or mentally like who does that hero go to and i i just feel like Uraka, uh, when she does graduate from UA, I could see her in the role where like she's a mentor to, you know, or guidance, like, you know, a guidance to somebody, you know? So yeah, hey, good choices. You can go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I wanna say, even if she did it for money, she did it for a humble reason. Mm -hmm. Cause she was thinking about her parents. That's, so that's, that's true. That shows her heart. Mm -hmm. She loves her family. She wants to help them. But then when she met Deku and the guys, so she now have more mm -hmm. uh, motivation to be a hero. Like, mm -hmm. new, yeah. yeah. I 100% so. agree with you on that. And also, too, um, what was I about to say about Uraraka? Uh, you know, just because somebody in the My Hero group that I'm in, like, they said that Uraraka, she threw everything away for Deku. And I'm just like, no, like, it's like Deku and Uraraka, they both put their feelings for each other to the side because they're still teenagers at the end of the day but it's just like they want to focus on being heroes they want to focus on uh, growing and being stronger uh -oh. people and, and i i can't wait until you know like they finally <laughs> kiss and that's something that i really love about this series is that there there aren't really too many uh romantic parts on this series you know what i'm saying like the only romance that i can really think of and it's really not even a romance is um, Endeavor and his wife, you know, I mean, but you look at all the other characters like uh, Miss Joke and Azawa. I know people, they like to do the My Hero Academia ships and stuff like that, but everybody's just friends and everybody yeah. just wants to help each They're, other grow. Yeah, exactly. They are, they are not like an actual uh, couple right now, mm -hmm. but we hope in the future. <laughs> Like Deku and Raraka, they have to be good. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I that's what I want as well. So now I want to ask you, uh, you know, we talked about anime and all that stuff. I want to know what are some of your hobbies that you're into when you're not cosplaying? I like to draw, dance, and watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> or watch TV. Yeah, I love dancing, drawing, and 
that's why I want to learn how to do um, the accessory for the cosplays, like I did with my Nezuko bamboo. Uh, I'm trying to watch a lot of tutorials and stuff so I can make my own accessories. I think it's pretty, it's, it's pretty interesting and I will enjoy a lot doing that. <laughs> nice. So I want to make it like a hobby um, also. For my cosplays, I, I would like to make it on my own taste. You know, when you buy something, uh, it's not like a good quality. You say, mm, I don't like this. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, it doesn't look like what, this is not what I want. Mm -hmm. But if you make it, it's going to be even more fun because you're going to make it from zero and you're going to love what you did. It's going to be yours. You're going to put something else to your own costume. That's my made of you you made it yeah i 100% agree with you on that and because like you said it's like sometimes you can get a costume and like you you might see it online and it looks it looks well you know what i'm saying but then when you actually get it it's not what you were expecting it to be or you feel like that it needs some alterations to it and it's cool because it's like you can't like especially like when it's last minute like my deku cosplay it's like it fit me but the elbow pads and the knee pads like they were just really small and i'm just like i ordered the biggest size so it's like why did they send me like smaller size elbow pads so i had to cut them up and so so you know new material up there so that way that they fit on my arms and they fit on my legs and i feel like that that's a good quality to have and especially when you can just level up with it and uh, continue sure. to, to keep on making better stuff where it gets to the point where you don't even have to order anything anymore. Like you can just, you see an anime cause it's, and it's incredible. Like some of these cosplayers, like as soon as something gets announced, you already know that, that there, there aren't any costumes made for it. Like uh, I'm trying to think of something, uh, uh, I think it was the Bioshock video game. It's like, there weren't any cosplays out for it, but this one cosplayer, like she made a cosplay based off of the character that she saw in the trailer and then they actually hired her to um be like a model for the game because she looked like the character in the game and the outfit was dope so wow you know, that's amazing and i and i definitely think you know with, with you you could do that you can make your own stuff and you just never know what's going to happen and to piggyback off of what you had said about dancing you know you have a TikTok and you have like all these incredible dance videos up there and whatnot and i remember <laughs> when we first started talking, you was telling me, it's just like, yeah, I'm doing these videos, but it's just like, they're not moving really high up in the numbers, but it's just like, now I see you, all your videos, I'm just like, dang, she blew up. <laughs> I know, I was like, okay. Uh, I just did the Deku dance, the de dancing for Deku as fun, because mm -hmm. my sister, my niece and me, like, like Deku and Raraka, so I was like, hmm, why don't I don't do dances for Deku to notice me, to see if someone duets me or, I don't know, let's see, let's have fun. And then when I saw it blow up, I was like, mm -hmm. what did just happen? <laughs> so I said, okay, that's perfect. I can combine my two hobbies. I can dance and cosplay. Mm -hmm. And if I can do my own accessories, then it will be my three hobbies together. Yeah, see, and that's awesome. It's like three things that you love, like you're able to combine them and grow with them. You know what I'm saying? I, and I feel like, again, like I just mentioned about being able to make your own stuff, like being able to dance and like you guys, y'all need to check out her dance videos because she kills them. I remember like somebody had called her out on, uh, <laughs> it, it was like uh, one of your dances that you had did for Oraka, and then you were just like, all right, I'm about to kill it. And I was just like, dang, this is the best one that she's here. <laughs> like, she, it's like, like you killed it. And you know what video I'm talking about. I was just like, all right, like you put that person in their place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care about bad comments because I made my heart to never care about bad comments, but I thought that I should have answered that one. Also, the one that said that I have a dollar trick with Raraka. I had I had to answer to that one, to those those ones, you know. But I made my heart to never listen to bad comments, never, because I suffer a lot. I don't want to suffer again. No, and so when they said bad comments, I was like, 
Diyos ko. No, no more sarcasm <laughs> with them. <laughs> hey, I, I love that. And, you know, just like Oraka, you stand up for what you believe in. And when people have doubt in you, you shut it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you're supposed to do. And I love that, you know, you had these two people that said something. Now, of course, you know, you can't make videos to every bad comment, you know? I mean, but if you want to, more power to you. But I just think that it's amazing that it's just like if somebody calls you out on something, like you shut them down and then you have so much support and love from people. So, you know, Pinky's up to I you know. for not letting people bring you down because I know how hard it can be for somebody to get on a video that you've done and just say like one bad thing and like it can it can make you feel bad it's just like dang like i spent all these hours dancing editing all this stuff and it's just like this one person that probably doesn't even know how to dance is telling me that i suck <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's uh you know sure. more, you know pinky's up to you for keep on you know, pushing forward and whatnot, just like heroes do. So I, I want to ask you this uh, last question and then we can go ahead and wrap this thing up. What are, because we're in the Christmas uh, holiday season and whatnot, what are some of your favorite holiday moments that you like to do around the holidays? The Christmas tree, uh, the Christmas dinner with family. And I have my sister here. Oh, I have my sister here, uh, so I like to go with them uh, to their house and make the present night uh, in the Christmas tree, you know, the dinner. I love that. Just that's spend nice. spend time with your family. and That's what matters. Yeah, I 100% agree. Now, uh, and I know I said that was my final question, but this is my final question. Uh, what uh, is one gift that you received you know, for Christmas, that was like your favorite gift of all time. I don't know. I know it's a hard question, and that's what Benjamin Banks does. He asks the hard questions. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cannot say like a special gift because um, in Cuba, we don't actually give like bigger gifts or we just make like a dinner and spend time with family mm -hmm. um so i kind of don't have like a special gift that i have received but i have a special moment and it's my last christmas with my mom and my dad i really miss them i wish they are here so yeah uh that christmas is gonna be for my heart because it was my last one with them see and i was gonna say that you know, that right there is a gift in its own. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you said, you know, in Cuba, y'all really didn't do gifts like that, but the gift of just spending time with your family and eating amongst one another, drinking amongst one another, and dancing, you know, dancing, <laughs> you know playing We Cuba love to dance. You know what I'm saying? It's like stuff like that. Like those are, those are good gifts. And it's not something that is uh, material. You know what I'm saying? It's something, it's love. So I think that that's a, that was a good choice. I think honestly, like that was a good, like if this was a Christmas movie and they told you to either choose your family or choose like this Deku figure right here, you would choose your family. And with my eyes closed. Uh-huh, with your I eyes would closed. Love to choose my family. And Santa, he would be like, you know, you made the right choice and now I'm giving you $50 billion. Merry Christmas. Oh my God. <laughs> but, uh, but no, Eve, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on Who's That Cosplayer. It was awesome having you up here. Before I let you go, let everybody in social media land know where they can find you at. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my name is Kitty If Place. I'm on Instagram and TikTok with the same name. Please go follow me. I uh, update more in, on TikTok, but also trying to make my Instagram uh, more active. I'm still learning, so but still, I hope you guys like what I do. I just want to make everybody happy, uh, forget their worries. And also, if you want to cosplay, I want to encourage you to start doing it. It's fine. Just have fun together. Hey, I love that. And that is an awesome way to end this interview. And you already know where you can find me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, at, at King Benji underscore Banks. On Twitter and Instagram, you can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you, Kitty, for joining me up here on another episode of Who's That Cosplayer. Thank you, everybody, Thank for you watching too. this. 
yo you're welcome thank you everybody for watching this interview make sure you check out some more of our interviews that we have here on the channel along with reviews and reaction videos make sure that you check out all our social media accounts check out our tiktok and like i always say keep that pinky up stay positive the great gingerbread war is coming we'll see you next time on leveling up with benjamin banks peace Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.